Today, I'm going to show you how to code students with disabilities correctly in PowerSchool. This is important because you want to make sure that your data represents these students accurately. So you'll see that I am on the start page for PowerSchool, and what you first need to do is type in your student's last name and first name and press enter. So as you can see, this um, student is a test student, and it brought me to a page that I was on previously, but I'm going to show you how to get to this page. So the first thing that you need to do is in the left toolbar, you need to do the state province link. You're going to click that. And the next page that you need to navigate to is the South Carolina student information page. And I'm going to click right here. From here, you should already have your English proficiency filled out. For more information on that, please visit our English language learners webpage or Title III webpage. You're going to scroll down to the bottom here where it says instructional setting. And this is the first place that you're going to enter information about your students and their instructional setting. So if there are a student that's in general education that does not have any involvement in special education, you're just going to leave them as regular ed full year. From here, you're going to choose if the student has a 504 plan, if they're in special education, if they're currently placed in special education, but previously in the school year they were a regular education student, there are a lot of options. So in this case, I'm just going to select the student with a special ed student all year long. If they have a 504 plan, you can indicate that here. And then if there's any other information that you have, such as if this student um, is going to get a state diploma or if they're going to get um, a district credential. But you may not know that until later on in their schooling. After you've selected their instructional setting, you're going to go down to the bottom and make sure that you click Submit. The one thing that is important to understand is that this page for instructional setting is not related to the page that is tied to funding. The page that's tied to funding is your EFA page where you'll select the student's weight based on their disability. That is a separate presentation and can be accessed under our webpage under special education.